Good morning, guys. It is April. Oh my gosh, can I get like an amen for a new month? Like literally, March was the longest month ever. Um, Normally, lately, not saying I enjoy that or anything, but lately months have been flying by for me. Like literally so fast. Work weeks, weekends, everything in between. It literally flies by. But March... March was the longest month. Oh wow, I didn't drink all the coffee yesterday. Um, March was the longest month of my entire life. Like, mom's birthday was March 11th, and it feels like that was months ago. But it was literally like, what, two and a half weeks ago? It's crazy. Like, we're finally in April. Kind of ironic that today is April Fool's Day. I've seen a lot of people posting that like they're gonna take their kids to school today. I'm like, that's so mean. <laughs> I know like so many kids that, or I guess honestly at this point, most kids that just wanna go back to school. But anyway, I don't plan on doing any April Fool's jokes today. Um, and David just left for work. I just got all the babies fed and I'm about to brew some coffee, you guys. I finally found my coffee yesterday at Walmart. I've been using this eight o'clock brand for some time now, but I tend to stick with these smaller bags because I'm such a like crazy coffee lady. Sometimes I like hazelnut, sometimes I like original, sometimes it depends on the creamer, sometimes I wanna try a different brand. I got the original this time, I have a little bit of hazelnut left, I might mix the two today. But I'm about to brew some coffee, eat some yogurt, I am hungry. I think today I'm going to wear a little bit of makeup and just try to be productive. Yesterday was so busy, I didn't get a ton of fun done here at home. Y'all, I am feeling so good today. Literally killing the game, okay? We are like two, two and a half weeks into no work slash social distancing slash voluntary. I guess it's kind of involuntary at this point, seeing how only like essential places are open. But, uh quarantine you guys so like week one i was kind of you know chilling doing my normal house cleaning like enjoying the sunshine whatever now i'm like let's get crap done like i want to see my kitchen table again like <laughs> our kitchen table gets dirty so easily like mail just gets thrown on it this gets thrown on it that gets thrown on it and then before you know it you can't even see the table and you just assume it's all important stuff on it when literally it's all junk mail and Y'all, I am being so productive. Like, I mean, it's different doing like dishes every day, cleaning the pig's cage, doing laundry. I started off with the dishes, got them done. Still have some dish water because I'm gonna eat lunch here soon. And um, while it's warm and everything, can go ahead and do my lunch dishes. But I did the dishes. I took out all the recycling that was completely surrounding our microwave because we do a lot of recycling. We had pizza over the weekend. There was a pizza box, a milk jug. And the biggest thing of all, I don't, I sent David a before and after picture because he's going to be so proud of me. But um, I didn't vlog it, but you can probably see in past vlogs that I've been doing how dirty our kitchen table has been. Look at it. Look at it. You can see our entire kitchen table. I did it. <laughs> I took a break a couple seconds ago to take both the dogs out to give them like a pee break and get them out for a minute, but I've pretty much conquered what I wanted to do in the kitchen. I need to conquer the bathroom. I need to conquer my dresser. Like, let's go. This is what's gonna be for lunch today, just a salad. Then not gonna lie, probably some candy or like some chips or something, cause salad never makes me full, you guys, no matter how much salad I eat. Kinda depends what's on the salad. Like, if you give me a salad with chicken and mushrooms and onions and like all that stuff, yeah, salad can make me full. But just a basic salad that I tend to make at home does not do the trick. But I'm going to eat me a salad. No leftovers today. Seeing how I had the restaurant last night for dinner. But tonight I'm pretty excited. I am cooking. I mean, I do tacos. You guys know I do tacos and whatnot. But um, tonight I am doing um, taco bowls, kind of. 
um, in the Instapot. I'm pretty excited for that. I know you can kind of take your own twist on it and put, you know, avocado or lettuce and like different toppings, but that's what we're going to be doing tonight is taco bowls. I'll vlog it and show you guys later, but this is my quarantine lunch of the day is just some plain old salad. So I have actually been on a giant roll. Like once I started cleaning, I was like, now I want to clean this and now I want to clean that and now I want to organize that. And I just kept going, going, going. And I got like so far ahead of myself, but now I just washed my face and everything. I'm about to do just a little bit of makeup. Just doing like some face makeup, you know, some mascara as the day's like already halfway over with. But that's what happens when you get carried away cleaning. Um, last night, I wanted to tell you guys, last night I used the retinol from The Ordinary for the first time. So I washed my face like normal and then I skipped serum last night and I went straight into this. So I washed my face, used the retinol, and then I mixed my rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary, which I actually store in the fridge. I mixed that with my Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. So that's what I did last night, and then just now, I washed my face, I used my Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary, and then I went in with my, well, I ran out of my little bottle, so I've been using the crap ton of samples that I have, um, of the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion Moisturizer slash uh, makeup primer in a way. So that's what I did last night and this morning, and now I'm about to run put on some makeup really fast, and David will be here probably in like 30 minutes for break. Guys, the sun is finally out. It is so nice to see because ever since the thunderstorms and rain that we got last night and through the night, today it has been so gray and dark out. And on top of that, like cold, <laughs> so not fun. Um, but the sun is finally out, of course, just a few hours before sunset. But I mean, it's just so nice seeing the sun after, you know, the gloominess that we've had today. But David's here on break right now. He's actually doing some vacuuming in the makeup room. I got Eloise here. <laughs> um, I'm actually about to start um, cooking dinner because I'm already hungry, so why wait? And as I told you guys earlier today, tonight I am cooking chicken taco bowls. I am following a recipe um, that I found the other night on Pinterest. But I wanted to tell you guys too, in case y'all are wondering, because I know sometimes, and this is something that I've had to start taking into consideration because um, I was dumb. <laughs> um, there are different sizes of Instapots, and mine is the, it's a smaller one. Okay, volume, so I have the three quart Instapot. So anytime, if you guys are referencing a recipe of mine or anything, which normally I don't give out recipes, I just kind of tell you what I made. Um, it is in my three quart Instapot, which is the smaller one, but honestly, just for me and David, like it's always worked fine, except for when I made, I wanna say one or two recipes in the past. Um, I didn't look at the serving uh, size that like the recipe made and all the food didn't fit in the pot. <laughs> also, shout out to my outfit today. <laughs> this is um, one of David's old polo shirts. He gave it to me, um, I feel like not too long after we started dating. He's had it since high school. He just turned 25 in January. But um, he gave it to me and it's a super old shirt of his. It used to be one of his favorites and that's what I sleep in most nights um, is this shirt. And so honestly, I've kept it on all day today. Like I took a shower last night and I'm gonna take a shower tonight, but it's been so cold out um, that when I took the dogs out, I had like my shorts on. So I ended up changing into pajama pants from one pajama set to the other. I ended up putting some pajama pants on about midway through the day. But um, I put this little jacket on um, the first time I took the dogs out this morning and I've just left it on ever since. <laughs> no shame, literally no okay, shame. So that was super easy. Let's hope that's as easy, I mean, as it looked in the video, which I mean it was, it was easy to do, but like, let's hope it tastes good and all that stuff. I always get like nervous. I'm like, okay, I did it all like moment of truth. And then I start cooking it. Um, it was super duper easy. You guys, it was pretty much chicken broth to chicken breast, cover the chicken breast in taco seasoning, top that with black beans, corn, and white rice, a little more chicken broth. Oh yeah. And, um, salsa. Um, a little more chicken broth, then you kind of stir it around a little, and then you pressure cook. Um, it said to pressure cook on high for 
um, I think it was eight minutes, but then you do some natural release time and whatnot in between. So I'm excited. I'm super hungry. I'm glad I went ahead and got it going. It was super easy to throw together. And I wasn't sure because it was like a really long recipe. She's a good girl when she gets her nails cut. Eloise don't like it. She's watching. Maybe she'll learn a thing or two. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. You guys already know what time it is. It's coffee o'clock. Got the coffee brewing. I'm actually about to have a granola bar for breakfast. Um, this is the Nature Valley Trail Mix Fruit and Nut Ones. My favorite um, are the chocolate pretzel nut, but sometimes when I'm like, okay, let me lay off the chocolate, I just get the fruit and nut ones. You guys. Bella, get back. Let me close the door. Um, so... I'll give you guys like a, a quick little backstory. So our landlord lives right next door to us. Um, we have like a lot of land here on our street. Like there's her, then there's me and David, and um, then there's our pastor next door. Or well, I say our pastor, but he was the pastor at our church. Now he's a pastor at a different church, but, um, who my hair? But he is actually the one that married us. So it's like us three. And me and David have like a ton of land that goes straight back and over behind our pastor's house, which if you guys have seen me vlog outside, if you see like a camper sometimes, that's their camper, but it's technically on our land because it goes back and kind of like an L shape. But our land also goes all the way across to our landlord's fence where she has like her pool and stuff. So like, but we all like mow each other's grass. Like it's all like super cool. So that's just like a little backstory of like who's where and how like the land here works because I know it's kind of confusing um but our landlord that lives next door with her husband the sweetest people and I say like landlord but she's not really our landlord the lady that owns our house lives in Arizona so um her friend landlord our landlord um lives next door with her husband and so like when we pay rent each month we give it to her you know if we have any questions or anything we go to her or you know we go to the owner too sometimes but she just kind of takes care of everything next door and keeps an eye on everything so sort of a landlord sort of neighbor but um that's just like a backstory well she just dropped by these cookies you guys she said they are cream cheese merit Maricina, I probably just butchered that, cherry, chocolate chip cookies, homemade, you guys. So I, we're all friends on Facebook, and I saw she was making these and was going to, like, deliver them to people to, like, brighten their day, make them smile, just, like, deliver them to friends and whatnot. And I was like, you know, I wonder if she's going to drop by here. Like, they are so sweet. They have an in-ground pool. They let me and David come over and swim, and, like, we always talk to them when we see them out. Just, like, super nice people. Like, they let... David borrow like any like yard tools or anything he might need just awesome well she just dropped by you guys that was so sweet I don't like cherries typically um but this looks delicious I'm about to try one and text David and tell him I just came into this spare room that I I feel like a deep down in the back of my mind I've been procrastinating to work in I worked in here one day last week like I told you guys and that was pretty much just clearing a pathway to be able to walk into this room. One day this room will be a really nice guest bedroom. But right now it's some um, Christmas storage, some wedding gifts. And it was nice and, I don't want to say nice and neat, but it was at least semi-tidy in here last week. Um, it was still boxes everywhere and stuff that needed to be put away somewhere, not sure where. Um, but at least you could at least walk into the room. And now it's just... You can barely get in the room again. Oh, hi, Penelope. I guess she's going to help me. Um, Yeah, just I got this box from Mom and Dad's on uh, Saturday. No, Monday. From Mom and Dad's on Monday. This from Mom and Dad's on Monday. She brought me that box last week. And there's still some more stuff that has to come here, you guys. I'm just like, what do I do with this stuff? Uh, someone please come help me. Please come help me. Because I would love for this room, like David, to come home and this room just like look amazing. But I just walked in here and I'm like, yeah. 
he gets break in like 30 minutes probably and I haven't done anything in here you guys oh my gosh it's just overwhelming okay excuse the view of the dog but so I got you can see I'm being so productive cleaning I got this um journal for my 10th birthday and it was in one of the boxes that I got from mom and dad's house and I was able to pick the lock to it with the bobby pin because I didn't have the key and I thought about doing one of those videos like where I read my journal out loud um but I don't know about that <laughs> I'm I'm like re like I'm reacting to it right now so I feel like if I did like a reaction video then it wouldn't be the same because it'd be my second time reading it but y'all <laughs> Some of this stuff, like my 10 year old brain, some of this stuff I'm like, okay, really? And then some of this stuff I'm like, no shade, no tea. Y'all, okay, stop licking me. I had to come in here to read it because she would not stop crying at the baby gate that I have put up. So I was like, oh, you can sit with me. Like, I'm so, <laughs> I cannot. I'm so, like, specific, too. I'll be like, such and such came over at 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. At 5 p.m., we did this. At 10.20 a.m., we're going to go do this. I'm like, girl, what kind of specifics are these? And it's like, I start writing, and then I'm like, hey, we're back from blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I would write stuff, go do some stuff, and then, like, keep writing hours later or that night. Like, just checking in. Oh my gosh. In case you're curious, so I started this diary May 20th, 2009. And right now I'm up to June 17th, 2009. Apparently my favorite song changed three different times. At one point it was Waking Up in Vegas by Katy Perry. A few pages ago it was um, Unfaithful by Rihanna. <laughs> okay, 10 year old me. And um, today, uh, June 16th, my new favorite song is Starstruck by Lady Gaga. Stop chewing on my diary, Eloise. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Okay, so I don't, okay, I remember getting this, but I don't remember writing in it this much. I'm literally almost like halfway through it. May 18th, 2011. Okay, like, what are the odds I kept this, found it, and I'm reading it, okay? Nine years later. Hello, Olivia, at old age. <laughs> Dang, my 12-year-old self calling my 20-year-old self, wait, all, my almost 12-year-old self calling my 20-year-old self old. Hello, Olivia, at old age. My B-Day is in two days. I'm turning 12. We're going to go to Olive Garden at TJ Maxx. Sorry I haven't written in a while because I lost the key. So, yeah. But, yeah, in the last entry, I also lost the key, so I used a dum-dum stick. Guess I forgot about that. <laughs> right now, you're in a makeup addiction stage. Right now? Stage? Girl, nine years later, ain't nothing changed, honey. It says, I'm still doing YouTube videos. My nails have crackle polish on. It's so pretty. <laughs> there's some tea in here. Then there's some stuff in here that's just, like, hilarious. <laughs> Eloise is like, I want to play, Daddy. baby right there uh oh uh oh she's waking up she's waking up really you've been sleeping for like 10 minutes now you get up that i'm vlogging don't wake up eloise look at her she loves the sunny spots y'all ready to cook some dinner you got grass on your face y'all ready to cook some dinner with mama y'all my kitchen crew bella just misses daddy all the time while he's at work but Eloise's mama's girl. Okay, so in the next like 15 minutes, I would say, I'm going to be eating dinner. Low key, kind of nervous, you guys. I'm such a dingling. Like most of the time, 
I do really good. I'm proud of myself for all that I've learned and all the cooking that I do and stuff. And I feel like I caught on pretty quickly. Um, but there's still some things that I literally just flop on or I'm like, cause it's new, like the stuff I've never done. So tonight for dinner, I baked, um, pork chops in the oven, which is what's going on in here. And I've never, ever, ever cooked pork chops before. Pretty excited. I mean, all I did was put them in the pan, smothered them in some barbecue sauce, and baked them for about an hour. But still, I've never cooked pork chops. Um, I thought I had more carrots than I did. And that's like what I was super excited about for this dish because I love carrots. And I didn't have enough carrots, unfortunately. So there are more potatoes than carrots in the dish. Which really stinks because... I wanted more carrots than potatoes, but whatever, wasn't able to do that. And then it called for, um, what was it exactly? I can't look cause it's on my phone and I'm vlogging on my phone. It called for Italian, Italian seasoning or something like that. And I automatically thought that meant like Italian dressing, like this type of stuff. And I was like, dang, I already have that dressing. Like perfect. Like all I really had to buy for this recipe was the potatoes and the onion. Well, no, turns out Italian seasoning and the powder Italian dressing mix are two different things. <laughs> so then I was Googling like what's in Italian seasoning. I, I'm getting them all confused. I Googled what was basically in it and it was like oregano and basil, which I had oregano and basil in my cabinet. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna dump some oregano. We're gonna dump some basil. Um, thyme, I want to say, uh, rosemary, some other kind of seasoning, which I totally forgot that it called for, so I didn't buy it, and then I was googling what's in that, and that was pretty much garlic powder, which is already garlic in the recipe, but it was like garlic powder, salt, like a bunch of other stuff, and then I was like, okay, well, what do I have that I could try to substitute for that, and so I have this and I'm probably butchering the names of so many of these things. I have this Creole, I think is how you say it, seasoning. Oh, you guys can't see it. This stuff, I have Creole seasoning. And I was like, wonder if that's similar. They're practically the same thing. There's a couple of things that are different. Like this has chili powder because it's a little spicy and the other thing didn't have chili powder. But this has the garlic, the salt, red pepper, black pepper. You know what, YOLO. So I, put that in there in place of that. So for the most part, I have most the right powders in this recipe, minus the rosemary. I just whipped something together. We're gonna see how it is. 